Hey there, gym owners, Steve from Gym Hub. I hope you're doing really well. Uh, in today's short video training, it's around mindset. I wanna to talk to you about whether you're a fair weather swimmer. So one of my favorite things to do since I retired from uh, professional rugby league is to, um, uh, is to enjoy some open water swimming or um, ocean swimming each, each week. And I do that because it's, um, it's good on my joints. I've had surgery on both my knees playing rugby league. I've, um, it's good for like lower back because it opens up the hips and it's, um, it's something that really uh, challenge you aerobically. I love being in the outdoors. It's a nice mix and it's a good escape from um, being inside a gym all the time. So that's one of the reasons why I do it. And one of my favorite places to swim is in Manly. There's a swim from Manly around to Shelley. Um, on a good day, you've got the sun sort of just coming up. The water is like super clear and it's warm. You can see the fish um, and it's, it's an incredible way to start the day. You sort of get out of the, the water, you're feeling refreshed. Um, not only that you've sort of worked out and the benefits similar to that of sort of training, but you've also had the ocean and the, the outdoors and the, that sun. And it's just a wonderful way I find to exercise and sort of recharge. But that's, that's fair, fair weather swimming. Um, the opposite to that is when it's not nice. So you get down there some days and it's cold. <laughs> some days it's raining. Some days it's um, there's sea lice or there's blue bottles in the water and you come out with stings. Um, some days it's sort of choppy and you're drinking a lot of water as you're sort of swimming along. And um, you, know, you might even swim from Manly over to Shelley and it's so cold because the, in winter, the sun hasn't sort of quite come over the headland yet. So you, you really need to turn around and get moving because it's quite cold there in your, in your speedos. And I share that because um, it's essentially the same activity. And it's, um, you know, um, if, if it's a hobby, if, um, if it's a hobby, the only thing I would actually do is probably swim in summer when the water's nice. Um, if it's a hobby, I would probably wake up and I'd look at the weather and I'd go, oh, do I feel like swimming or do I just hit snooze? Um, however, if it's something I want to get better at, if it's something like if I'm training for a, an ocean um, swim or if I'm actually um, deciding that this is something I want to get good at, I have to actually make a decision and I have to commit to not being a fair weather swimmer. I have to commit to actually swimming even when I feel like I don't really want to do it. And I share this as an example because I think um, in terms of mindset as a gym owner, it's really important that we actually make a decision. Um, there's, there's things that happen inside of our business that we love. We love the interaction with members. We love when a member tells us they've had a great result. We love when new prospects sign up. We love when you get a rave review in, uh, on Google or something like that. And that's fair weather swimming. However, there's other days where equipment breaks down and you get a text message from staff that they can't come in and, and take a group class. And you've got to sort of settle up and you've got to jump in there. There's days when you know, the member that you've helped so much and you've, you've you know, done everything to change their lives, they end up leaving you and they, they go and train somewhere else. And it's sort of heartbreaking. But reality is it's not a hobby that we're doing as a, as a business owner. I think sometimes um, we get a bit ahead of ourselves and it's good to have a goal of leveraging out of your business. It's good to have a goal of having a manager in there. It's good to have a goal where you don't personally have to deliver all the sales and all the group classes and things in your gym. But reality is when you start, you actually need someone on the tools and someone that's going to get it done regardless, not just when things are going good, but on the days where it's actually a little bit tough and it's a little bit hard. And the, the thing I want to challenge you around today is your mindset. Um, if you make that decision today in your business that you're not going to be a fair weather swimmer, it's not a hobby that you're actually doing, but instead you're here to compete. You actually want to get better. What you'll do is you'll actually start getting those tough things done. You'll start getting on the phone, even when you feel like, doing something else and checking Facebook or going down the beach, you'll jump on, you'll make two hours of phone calls to your prospect list. Even when you don't feel like logging in and seeing how your Facebook ads went, you'll go in and you'll check the data and you'll make sure that you're actually getting a good click-through rate and there's plenty of traffic coming through. 
um, you'll make allowances, you'll realize that it's not actually bad luck when a staff says they're coming in sick. It's actually super predictable. Um, we know that our staff will get sick from time to time. And what's really important here is not what actually happens to you, but it's how you respond. So I really want to challenge you with this video today, two things. One is, are you a fair weather swimmer? And is it a hobby for you? Or are you actually here to compete and to get better? And if you are, I want you to make that decision. You're not getting up and saying, well, I'll do my best today and I'll bring energy and I'll bring leadership if it's all going well. But if it's not going well, I'm going to play the victim. If it's not going well, am I going to blame the members? Am I going to blame some of the staff? Or am I actually going to say, you know what? That is par for course. I own a gym. I know that some of my staff are going to get sick from time to time. So as a result, I've got a manager in place who is the first point of call and someone who can fill in and take those classes. I'm not going to get upset when someone says that they want to leave. Instead, I'll call them up. I'll ask them for honest feedback and I'll get better and I'll make sure that I prevent other members leaving for that same sort of reason. Reason. So I want to challenge you, get out of that hobby class, make it a, uh, a profession, to, uh, um, you know, challenge yourself to get better and better all the time. And if your first response is, well, I'm going to get it done today, regardless of whether it's fair weather or whether it's rainy and cold outside in, the, in or the equivalent in a gym, if it's a shit day today, man up and get it done anyway. I think that's the important thing to, to take away from this. But also don't be shocked if things go wrong when running a small business. Um, we know that stuff's going to happen. It doesn't even matter what happens to you. It doesn't matter if there's COVID. It doesn't matter if there's GFC. It doesn't matter if your manager leaves. It doesn't matter if 20 of your members. It's how you respond that actually determines whether you'll be successful as a small business owner. So this is a, um, a constant challenge. I know, um, particularly as your business starts to really take off and you've got a manager in place and you've got really good money coming through, it's really easy to actually rest on your laurels and think, well, I, I don't like to be involved in this stuff anymore. However, um, that's what's required to be a successful long term in the, in the fitness game. And I really challenge you and I, I encourage you to take something away from this video and just ask yourself next time it gets a little tough, whether it's today, tomorrow, maybe even next week, when it goes to rubbish or it ha you have a bad day, how do you respond? Are you a, a great, inspiring leader? Do you knuckle down and lead your team? Do you actually actually expect that kind of stuff and have a contingency plan in place? Or do you throw your hands in the air and go, you know what, it's too cold to swim today. I'll just actually leave it and continue uh, with your hobby. I'm Steve from Gym Hub. I hope you find that useful. If you do, I want you to like and I want you to leave a comment below so I know which uh, content you find the most valuable. Thanks, guys. Bye.